welcome back to my channel Starlight and Stitches. It's really good to see you again. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Alice. I'm new to YouTube obviously. I've only put out a few videos so far but I'm really enjoying having a yarny chat with some like-minded people who enjoy the same sort of things as I do. I've done a couple of videos so far where I've shown you some of my yarn hauls. The first one was the Stylecraft Special Chunky which is all these lovely plain colours that you see behind me here and then after that we had a look at the drops cotton light which was much 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 different to that it's a tiny little one here we have our little tiny 50 gram balls today's yarn haul is very similar to the cotton light but it's not the same no yarn is the same <laughs> there's so many what i've got today is the drops muscat which is a hundred percent mercenized cotton now i'm really excited about this i don't know whether it's going to show up properly on camera because i'm only filming on my little iphone i've just got an overhead light in my dining room there's nothing fancy here with me i just like to share stuff with like-minded people i'm going to try and show you the comparisons from the cotton light to the musket this is today's one so this is the drops musket okay so again, it's a 50 gram ball. It's 100% cotton. You get about 100 meters or 109 yards on there. So it's a really thin cotton. Let me show you how it compares to this one. So this is the cotton light. Now you might look at that and go, it's the same thing. Oh, it's not the same thing. Let me tell you, it's not the same thing. So cotton light, lovely, thin, beautiful, cotton this mercenized cotton has got like a slight kind of sheen to it i hope you can see that it's really pretty and i can imagine when making up tiny little projects once this is all put together and you've got your lovely stitches in there you'll end up with a beautiful finish on whatever you're making so let me take you through what colors i've got and as I say, they've all got this slight kind of sheen to them, so they're not like a flat colour, like the cotton lights are. This is lovely. I'm quite excited about this. Let's have a look and see what we have got. So, same as the last lot, these were ordered from Wool Warehouse, which is my favourite place to order yarn. I like them because they're based in the UK and I've never had any problems with them. Their customer service is great, I think. I've never had any issues. Um, I find their delivery to be fairly speedy um, and I just like them. So yeah, each their own, but I got these from Wool Warehouse. I'm going to take you through the colours. I'll try and do it a bit quicker than I did it last time. Uh, so let's start. Now these don't have the colour names written on the back of them. They just have the dye lot numbers. So I've had to um, write everything down. So first one, this is the first one. This is number one. This is light blue purple, light blue purple. Number two, this is number two. This is light blue. Number three. This is number three. This is mint green. Number four. This is uh, dye lot number seven. This is light yellow. That's light yellow there. Dye lot number 10 is peach. Dye lot number 13. This is navy blue. That's my navy blue one there. Then we go into number 15. This is blue. Blue. Number 18 is white. That's your white one there. This is number 19. Number 19 is light grey. Number 20. 
Number 20 is Light Mint. Light Mint. Number 24, this is Taupe. That's Taupe there. Number 29, we have Old Pink. Now, I wouldn't say this is Old Pink. This is bright. This is like a bright candy pink. Not candy floss, but candy. It's bright. I wouldn't say it was Old Pink, but that's what it's called. Then we have number 30. Number 30 is Vanilla Yellow. Vanilla yellow, dropped it. Number 32, this is my favourite, it's lovely and bright, turquoise. That's turquoise. Number 39, 39 is Heather. That's Heather. This is gorgeous as well, lovely and bright. This is number 40, coral. That's coral. Then we have 41, that's number 41, and that's Bordeaux. Beautiful reddy brown. Then number 51, this is light orange. Number 60, 60 is ice blue. That's ice blue there. Number 76. 76 is sky blue. It's quite dark for a sky blue, but it's sky blue, according to them. Number 79. That's wine. And nearly there, this is 81. This is clay. That's clay for you. And then the last one here, 82 is Silver Fox, that's Silver Fox. Now what I did was I ordered one of everything that they had available. There was loads that was out of stock, so I'm assuming that this is quite a popular yarn. Like I said loads of times, I'm really new to this. I only taught myself how to crochet in November, so I'm really, really new to the whole scene. I'm just learning, um, but I'm assuming it's popular because there was loads out of stock. However, I got at least one of everything that was available at the point of ordering. It cost me £1.60 per ball. So once I've had a play with it and see how it works up and how my finished projects come out, if I like it, then obviously I will try and order some more and I'll try and get some of the colours that I wasn't able to get the first time round. Anyway, that is pretty much it for today. Um, hopefully things are coming together a bit more in these videos. I, st I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just here having a chat with some people who I'm hoping are interested in the stuff that I'm showing them. Um, I said before, I live on my own with my daughter, so I haven't got really that many grown-ups that I can, uh, I can get excited about yarn with. So <laughs> I'm just putting it out there for anybody that wants to have a listen. Please feel free to, um, I think you're supposed to say please like this video um subscribe if you want some weird person chatting to you about crochet stuff and yarn that they don't really know what they're talking about that would be quite cool um i've seen a few comments and things already on my videos which is really nice um and i love seeing conversations in comments places so if you've got any questions or anything at all then just ask um, and also let me know if there's anything in particular you would like to see from me. I am more than happy to take kind of requests for anything to do with crafts and crochet and that kind of thing. Like I say, I'm not an expert, but, you know, I can still talk about stuff if uh, anybody's interested. So thank you again for joining me for another video. I'm really happy to be doing this. It's quite nice to have a little outlet and some people to chat to. So thank you for listening and uh, stay safe, please. Keep your family safe, keep yourself safe. Stay at home as much as you can. Try not to go outside unless you really have to. <laughs> we all know why. Um, big love to everyone and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you wanna see. Okay.